G'day everyone, Roy at Sunland Caravans again. Now, again some really exciting news for Ernie and Jan over in WA. Now, they've ordered a brand spanking new blue healer, and tomorrow morning, they won't be coming to pick it up. Instead, a transport, Allbridge Transport Company, are coming to pick this up to take this all over the, all over the country to Western Australia to them for their delivery. Uh, and I've got to say, guys, Thank you so much. This has all been done via emails and telephone. We've actually never met. So um, I hope you love this as much as we do. Let's have a quick look at what we've done. So Ernie had some very specific requests. One of the requests was he actually wanted the gas bottles put out on the A-frame. So normally, as you know, this would be fitted to our toolbox. But in his case, he's put them on the A-frame, given himself some more space in the toolbox itself. Now I'll point out my preference is still to have them in the toolbox not on the A-frame but um, we're not locked into things if it's something you specifically want or need you just need to talk to me because there's all sorts of possibilities. Okay tunnel boot you're used to seeing that big tunnel boot As we walk around on the caravan, I'm going to point a couple of things out. Um, again, I'm going to remind people, we are an RVM AP manufacturer, RV map manufacturer. That means we are accredited. Uh, we have to go through a compliance check with them. And uh, it is important to have a look to see that your caravan actually has that badge on there. It doesn't mean that your van can't have anything go wrong with it but it does mean that at least there's a compliance and governing body keeping tabs on the manufacturer and making sure that we are following the rules and that's a pretty big thing. Um, if we have a look up top here you'll notice that they've gone for those white uh, and yellow lights. The yellow one uh, being a little bit more resistant to having insects so yeah great move there. Outside entertainment again the Raptor coat and that is, that is a beautiful finish. Now, a couple of things out here. Ernie's decided he wants a, um, a ladder on the outside so that he can get up there, clean his solar panels, whatever. And you can walk on the roof of this caravan, by the way. The other thing he's done is he's put an extra spare wheel bracket on the back. Now, I'm forever having people say to me they want match wheels and tyres, and I can give you a whole heap of reason why that's really not a good idea. But... From where I'm sitting, the most important thing is your car itself. So carrying an additional spare for your car, be whatever that car is today or whatever it might be tomorrow, having a bracket where you can carry an additional spare for your car actually makes a lot of sense. So whilst I'm also not a fan of having them on the back of caravans, and again, that's another conversation, in this case, he's got the bracket there, he can put the spare wheel for his car in there and know that no matter what, he's always gonna get out of trouble with the car itself. You've seen this before, Gerard Instant Hot Water Service and the new red water uh, valve here. That means that the water's gonna circulate. You're not gonna waste water whilst you're waiting for the hot water to come through. Now he does like his power. So he's got two 225s, two, two, two times 225s. Two, two, and you'll notice on this one, he's also had the Promax satellite fitted. So in our wiring diagrams attached here, you'll notice that he's actually got the normal wiring diagram plus the wiring diagram for his Sat King. And uh, the big 3000 watt inverter. Plenty of power for you. All right, moving down the van. This has also got um, your 190 plus the 60 plus an additional um, water carrying capacity. So he's got 250 litres, 190 litre of uh, um, general purpose, 60 litre of drinking, plus an additional 130 litres of general purpose water as well. So plenty of water on this on this caravan. Okay, so let's go and have a look and have, have a look inside and see what else is happening here. Those decals, they look fantastic, don't they? All right, so again, We've gone for the Aussie Traveller door. And for those that haven't heard this in the past, I do like it. I like this material, this um, almost crin safe style material here. 
but um, it works really well. And plus we've got these uh, metal locks on the side as well. Moving inside the van, again, our standard bedroom. But the things that you'll note in here is the um, gas heater control on that side of the bed, although we do get requests for it the other side of the bed. It can go either way. But this has also got the new door handles. So they've gone for the brush chrome handle. They look kind of nice. This has got our dust protection system on the roof, and you can tell because that's the outlet for our positive pressure system. So that one works off the light. So when you turn on your parking lights on your car, it'll activate those lights. He's also got the two Sirocco fans, one each side. And he's stuck with our um, cafe dinette seating. And again, I really like the way this seat works. This pad's a little bit thicker now since we changed to the Aussie Traveller windows. So you've got really good support. You can put your feet up. You can watch the TV, relax. If you do want more space here, this is just simply removed, thrown over on the bed, and now you can get four people around it. And of course, the very simple to use trifold table. I like the fact you can actually do that from the seated position here. So here it is a nice little table, um, like a somewhere to put your drinks or, or your remote controls or whatever. But you know, it'll come out to give you more space for eating or playing cards or whatever it is that you fancy doing. All right, so this has got the Ibis 4 air conditioner. We are about to move over to the Bel Air. So we'll be having future vans with a Bel Air air conditioner. All reports on that have been fantastic. So uh, keep an eye out for that one. This is the 24 inch TV, which is standard on this model. You are able to upgrade that to a 32. Now what they've done on this one is they've taken the splash back and matched it to the bench top. So in this case, splash back, bench top, and the table, the fold away trifold table, and the little tables beside the bed have all been done in this nice speckled laminate. They've gone for the grey lower cabinets in the galley and they've gone for the white overhead cupboard. So we've, they've mixed and matched the colours around a little bit and it's quite a nice effect. Microwave and of course the La Planck, La Planck radio and this is a little station here, this little piece, people have asked me about it all the time, but you can put your um, phones there or camera gear or whatever it is that you want to use the charging 240 or 12 volt charging system. The Dometic two door fridge, they've opted to leave those at black. Now I have to tell you about this. This is what I keep incorrectly describing, because my wife's now told me off for it. It's not a concertina door, it's a concertina door so she keeps telling me I'm not saying the word right so it's a concertina door that's from Lotus and actually regardless of if I don't get the word right or not they're a beautiful door and they work really really well so moving inside the ensuite back up to the electronics here and I'll, I don't normally explain this to a great deal so maybe I will today so this is your mains inverter that's your master switch so if you're on you want it to be on mains, you're plugged into 240 volt, you're using it, this is the configuration you have. However, if you're not into 240 volt and you want to use your inverter, you bring this one down. So these are now the safety switches. So in that position, this is the safety switch. In that position, that's the safety switch. This is a solar isolator. So, sorry, just going back here to this inverter. So you turn this inverter on to make your inverter work. Then you need to come over to this control Take it from charger only into the off position and then into the on position. And you may or may not have heard what happened just then, but all the 240 volt in the caravan came alive. So the microwave immediately sprung into life. So we're currently running off those two 225 amp hour lithium batteries. To close that back down again, put that in the off position, put that back to the mains, put it back on charger and away you go. Up the top here, you've got your uh, water gauges, they show you the two tanks. 
Okay. Your water heater. Now, when the water heater's on, this is for the Girard, when the power's on, that red light will be on all the time. So you know it's actually working. And you can change the temperature setting up or down to suit yourself as to what temperature you, you want your hot water to be. So, and then this one here is the lithium battery. So LBS, li lithium battery system. And this gives you your uh, gauge, your monitor on that. So you can see what's happening. That's batteries are at 99%. All ready to go on that truck tomorrow. So swinging around, you've seen this beautiful fiberglass vanity before. It still works really, really well. And it houses that three point, oh sorry, this, in this case, 2.6 sphere top load washing machine. Okay, people are asking me, why do I put this front like this? So there's, there's a reason for that. First off, it looks very bland to just have a blank wall with nothing there. Secondly, if you do need to take the hop, the washing machine out of there, it's actually a lot easier to take it out the front than it is to drop it through the hole in the top. So it's purely there for aesthetics and for maintenance. So if you do need to do maintenance on that washing machine later down the track, it's more accessible. And we do that a lot in the manufacture of my caravan. The ensuite also has the additional cupboard in the corner and the overhead cupboards. Again, you'll note these new handles. This caravan's also been fitted with a gas heater. So the gas heater out the gas heater location on this fan on the 19 foot six blue heater is actually under the seat. And then we have two outlets, one here in the ensuite and one at the end of the seat in the dinette. That distributes the air where you're most likely to need. So it gets nice and warm down here. The, the heat then travels down towards your bed. So it becomes more of a, um, a question of getting out of bed in the warmth and moving into greater warmth than getting out of a warm bed and then finding it cold down this end. But anyway, that's just a preference. And of course the shower unit that you've all come to love. That is a great shower. The water will drain to the drain. You're not gonna find a pool of dirty water sitting in the bottom there because of the way it's been designed. The grate sits underneath there. Another thing that I haven't um, explained very well in the past that I think I should cover right now is people are saying to me, you know, when we're off road and we're worrying about dust ingress, you know, should we be putting um, plugs in the sinks and so forth? In the case of a Sunland Blue Healer that's fitted with a grey water tank, you most certainly don't need to do that because all those drains go straight into the grey water tank and then that grey water tank's got a, a tap on the outside. So when you turn off that tap, there is no way dust can get can come into your caravan via that. So we do a lot of things to make sure that you don't have problems with dust, and that's just another one of those things. Um, also, I can't ever leave this area without mentioning my door. Again, I have people saying to me, oh, you know, we're not sure it's a bit flimsy, whatever. Let me tell you, these doors are fantastic. Bigger than the opening, so the, the water can't get past it. It's light. It's actually um, not clear, but it's translucent. So when you're inside, the light travels through, so you don't feel quite as claustrophobic. The little squeezy takes the excess water off and you leave it open all the time, unless you're actually using the shower. Um, and they just work an absolute treat. Look, Ernie and Jan's gonna be receiving this van in the not too distant future. Uh, I'm sure they're going to love it. I love it for them. Guys, um, if you want any more information, you know how to contact sunlandcaravans.com.au. Visit our Facebook site. Um, don't forget to click, like, subscribe, and even hit that little alarm so you can get all the latest updates so you can see what we're doing. And uh, if not, well, you can come and visit us here at Sunland Caravans. Now, to Strathvale Court, Caboolture, although an online um, appointment is probably the best way to do it right now because we are kind of being hammered. You can ring the landline 07549992250 and you can also ring me 0410574127. So there's lots of ways to contact. Come in and say good day. I'll see you for the next one. Ciao for now.